So today I've come out to my local nature reserve to do some macro photography, to get out of the office. I feel like there's too many videos being done in the office and we need to get outside. So there's going to be no theme to this video, no subject. I'm just going to walk around, see what we can find, photograph what we find and I'll take you through it. So we found what appears to be some sort of a green spider, maybe it's a cucumber spider or a lynx spider, something like that. And I'm just going to take a quick snapshot of it. I'm at 1 200th of a shutter speed, F8, ISO 400. My flash power is on a TTL. I'm going to take a quick snapshot now. And you can see in that shot there that that piece of debris in the front is ruining the shot. Now unfortunately that piece of debris is part of the spider's web so I can't remove it without destroying the spider's web so unfortunately as good a subject as it is to photograph we're not going to be able to get a photo of this spider so I'm just going to leave this spider be and we'll move on and see what else we can find. With macro photography, you don't always need to look for insects. We could always take pictures of these little white flowers here. I am a fan of TTL. It's a bit of a controversy when it comes to macro. I've never had a problem with it personally. So I'm going to set my camera up to, we're going to go with 1 200th of a second on the shutter speed. I'm at f8 on my lens, ISO 100 on TTL on the flashes. We'll just take a few pictures of these flowers. Another thing I've started doing is taking a step back. Just because my lens is a two times macro doesn't mean I have to be at two times macro when I'm taking these pictures. There's different methods of finding subjects from macro photography. One of my main methods is like what a T-Rex would do. I'm looking for movement. So I'm just sitting here and I'm just having a look at this particular plant. And if anything moves, I'll spot it. What I would love to find is a crab spider. So there's some bluebells over there. It's not a particularly good shot, but it's good for practicing. Uh, what I like uh, to do is adjust and settings on the fly. So my flash is not going to reach there. I'm going to take the shot from the log. So I'm going to have a, a wider field view on that. So I'm going to turn off my trigger. That'll stop the flashes from going off. I'm going to place my camera on this log. And what I'm going to do is just adjust my settings so I get a nice exposure. And I do like to underexpose a little bit as well. So it's good practice just to practice changing your settings on the fly because you never know when some sort of insect or something's going to land and you've only got a split second to get the shot. So another method you can use for finding a subject is to pick a location you like and then just stay there for like half an hour to an hour, sit there and just watch the activity and eventually the bugs will come to you.
So what we found here is a hive of activity. There's lots of insects here, there's lots of flowers. It's in direct sunlight, so they're quite happy. There are lots of flies, bees, there's a few butterflies going around. I've not managed to get a shot of those yet. But more importantly, what's on here is a weevil. Now I love weevils. I think weevils are really interesting. I've not managed to get a shot of a weevil yet. Well, it's a decent shot of a weevil, so we're going to try that now. Now, because we have found a place of decent activity, I'm going to take my pack off because I don't want to be carrying my camera bag around while I'm in this particular area. I'm not moving very far from this area, and I will spend a good half an hour here photographing all the different bugs. So, again, my camera settings are going to be the same as they was before. 1 200th of a second, we're doing F8 on our F stop, ISO 400, TTR on our flashes, and I'm going to try and get a decent shot of this weevil now. So he's scurried off down into the undergrowth now, he's had enough of having his picture taken. I'm going to stick around for another half an hour, photograph all the other bugs there and I'll show you those pictures now. So that's it from this macro walk. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But that's where I shall leave it. My name's Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video, and I'll see you on the next one. So today we've come out to my local nature reserve to do some macro photography. I'm going to take... Bastard, I thought he was going to land right in front of me then. <laughs> did the window stop blowing it? You recording, yeah? So that's it. <laughs> Fuck. Whoa, it stings. <sighs> what makes it worse is I didn't even get the shot. <laughs> An ISO 400. <sighs> Fucking dickhead. I need a beanie. So we're going to leave this spider and we'll wait for the train to go past. We've got another good shot here. Let me just frame this shot up here. I haven't got time to describe what I'm doing. I'm just going to take a shot quickly before it goes away. Uh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Let me, uh, let me show you that now. I mean, that is a lesser spotted dog bag with shit in it. The owners, they, uh, they took the time to bag up the crap, but didn't bother throwing it in the bin. Looks like I'm homeless, looking for some food out the bin. <laughs> so we found something very common out in the wild. Down here we have a couple of lumps of dog shit. Okay, um, these are extruded from the rear ends of dogs and are not picked up by their owners because they're a bunch of arseholes. Check my previous video about arseholes when you're out and about. But I'm going to take a picture of this piece of shit. So there we go, there's a picture of some shit. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to print this out, put it on the wall and call it art and we're done. I'm going to sell that for £50,000. I'll see you in the Bahamas. I don't know if I like the shot, but when you're in a bear, even if it's a shot you don't like, or you've got a yapping dog in the background that you want to screw its neck because it's pissing you off. <laughs>